Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel and my eBay seller's account, GB Hatchery. Today is a listing specific video for this Intellivision 2 by Mattel Electronics and it's an old game system from 1982. So this system is almost 40 years old. I remember this era. I'd uh, played a little bit more of the Atari 2600, but I definitely remember Qbert. So this has 26 games with them with it and it uh, some of them are looks like there's a little bit of possible uh, mildew damage or something like that on them but um, I've tested a few of them and they seem to work so we'll start here with Qbert I have this television here I think I'm going to include it with this I'm going to try to find a buyer that wants the TV that will play these games, and I have a brand new cord that goes to the TV. So there we go, we got good luck. Sometimes you gotta blow on them. I don't know if you know the, the ins and outs of these cartridges, but it's much like the Nintendo where you kinda gotta blow on it and put it in. So this does have uh, these sleeves that go in, where are they cards? And they go on the controller, and then that allows you to see which button to press for which action. So depending on the game, then you get a game-specific card. So there's actually quite a number of these. Some of them are in pairs. As you can see, these are singles. Then we start getting into pairs. So there's two controllers. So... This is just what's here with this game. System bundle. You have to excuse me, I'm talking and looking at the camera, looking at focus, and uh, shuffling cards at the same time. So there's three of these and three of these. There's 26 games. We have these booklets. Demon Attack. Space Battle. Beauty and the Beast. Armor Battle. That one's pretty neat, actually. I let my six-year-old play it, and she said it was fun. So that was pretty cool. She's used to the newer systems. But it was interesting to see the reaction. She definitely didn't seem like she was too good for it. She definitely saw the, the potential for entertainment. So this was a big deal when it came out in 1982. You were somebody if you had this. So here's the controller. This is Qbert. And I don't know how to play. Now if I put the card in, I'm not sure if there was a Qbert card. A lot of times these buttons do something. Okay, press to the right and he goes to the left. Or left and he goes left. Excuse my French. I don't know if you can see that. So I guess the uh, idea is not to go to the bottom. So I haven't played Qbert much. But as, as you can see, it works. To turn the system off, you hold it down for like three or four seconds. And then let go. There we go. This is Frog Bog. There we go. Frog Bog works. Okay, so I press right. Looks like he's jumping. So this is, it might be two player. Yeah, there's two player. So I think I'm trying to get those flies. There we go. Oh, I could have got that. So close. There we go. So the games are simple, but 
Honestly, if you've ever played like Angry Birds or, or anything like that, yes, there's more physics involved, but also it's very simple. So this was the big leagues back then. Okay, so that's that one. I was actually having fun. I didn't want to turn it off. So this one here is Astro Smash. <laughs> Nothing doing on that one. One. <laughs> there we go. So you just got to have the right technique. This used to be a thing I did with the regular Nintendo. Totally. So a lot of these ones you have to hit that button on the side. for the big stuff unless I'm paying for it and I go small there we go you should see me at all you can eat though there we go then I go big oh okay so that one was cool you know a little magic in your hands <laughs> get them to work they're old there we go Star Strike, 1981. Okay, so this is, um, this is like Star Wars. Whoa, that's three-dimensional, kind of. Can I take my shit back, please? Looks like the bad guys won. They blew up the Death Star or the planet there. I think this is the Death Star. Boy, it takes a while to reset. So, that's that game. Pretty neat. Too cool for school, really. So, here's Lock and Chase. Here we go, we're getting lock and chase. 1982. So this looks like Pac-Man style game. So like one or two players, how about one? So I'm the little guy in the top right. Oh, so you can see a Pac-Man style game. Someone was highly inspired by Pac-Man and decided they needed a paycheck. So there's that one. Here's Space Armada. There we go. We're getting Space Armada. 1981 Mattel. Game or practice? I'm going to say game. By pressing one and enter. So this is pretty familiar. I think this is like Space Invaders. It's definitely a strategy to this type of game. Kind of nice to have like a safe haven off to the side. Now it's just a machine that kills them. Oh! So I lost. Oh, I got another guy. Or a girl. I think back then it was just guy though and nobody really cared that much. Maybe there was a silent majority that really said thought that was too much. But two deaths. That guy at the top, he's got to be worth some money. Not happening. That's happening. All right. So that's how that works. Here's Snafu. There we 
we go. Getting snafu. Shack fu. How many rounds? One round. Okay, I tried this the other night and I wasn't real good at it. I think you would need the the card or something or to know what the buttons are. Even if you Googled the card, you'd be able to see what they do. So, but you can see it functions. So here's battle armor, armor battle actually. I like this one. This was my style. So you can aim the tank and then you can shoot. Oh, this is move. And this is shoot. Boom. He kind of moves a little bit when he shoots though. Kind of throws him off. Got him. So I guess that's just a pile of just a pile of crap there. It's got kind of good sound effects too. That's top notch right there. Here's Star Strike. <laughs> oh, it was trying. Got my forearms on the internet. <laughs> yeah. We used to work hard at it. You know, when Contra wasn't working, we worked until it got to work. Okay, so here's that same one. Oh, that's uh, Star Strike. So there's two Star Strikes. So it's possible that the guy who I bought this from was having bad luck with Star Strike. How in the heck is that? Okay, locomotion's on. One player. This one's cool. This is kind of like a game you would um, get on your cell phone or something. You're basically taking this train track and manipulating it. And I think the idea is to make the whole... It's like a puzzle you do. And I think the idea is to make it as long as you can, or possibly it needs to be infinite. But I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Okay, so that guy died. Whoops. I should have moved that. But you can see there's a train there. That's about as good as you can get right there. One neat thing is you can move him while he's on it. So you can hear us going. Ch -ch 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 -ch. So that game works excellently. This one's called Sea Battle. <laughs> Boom. Sea Battle's on. So I don't know what to do here. I see, it looks like I'm down there. Okay, so he's moving down there. If I press over, he's up. He's just barely moving. So I'm not exactly sure what the ins and outs of that game are. But it seems like it could be lengthy, so I'm going to pull it out. Space Armada. I think we just saw this one. So there it is again. Two copies of Space Armada. Here is Space Hawk. <laughs> oh, Space Hawk is on now. Okay, 
dude. It looks like I can move this guy around in the middle. There's a guy right there. He's like he's weightless. Oh, he got me. Oh, okay, so this is cool. Yeah, this is the one type of games I really like. This is a little bit like um, Asteroids. It looks like he can move, and then you tur turn him a different way, and you give him some jet, and it moves him around. It's neat. That was really uh, exercising physics back then. Nothing more human than physics. So it looks like I can shoot, too. Not sure if that's mustard gas or what. I don't know. But that looks fun. Lock and chase. That sounds familiar to me. Was that working? Maybe it was when I stacked it over there. Here's lock and chase. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's gonna go better than that. Come on, lock and chase. All right. Getting lock and chase. There it is. Okay, so yeah, very familiar. We just played that one. Yeah, here it is at the bottom. So there's duplicates. I'm going to go ahead and put these together. Astro Smash. Okay, Astro Smash is on. Or maybe it did work, because this looks hugely familiar to me. It's in the wrong pile. What the heck? Because I have this one as well. There's that Astro Smash, and here's this Astro Smash. Okay, so there it is again. So here's golf. <laughs> golf, 1979 Mattel. How many players? One player. Enter. No. No. Okay, it says on the top I'm going to use a driver and I hit it so that's cool it works here's baseball <laughs> bam 1978 that's really early And you know, some people are just sports fans when it comes to video games. Nothing else will do. Me, I like AAA games. I like them to be vetted. I'm not sure what's going on. But it turns on, so that's not so bad. Here is boxing. Nineteen eighty. That was a good year. So two. This is a two-player game. This is pretty cool. Considering when this was made. So crouch is five, punch is nine, crouch. Looks like left and right, and then crouch. Oh. So I don't think people normally play with themselves, but. You can. 
Here's poker and blackjack. There's two poker and blackjack, so I didn't realize how many duplicates there were. There it is. So this one, I'm just going to say it works. I'm not sure how to play it. We'll try the other one. That one works too. Here's this one is blank, but I'm seeing Tron Deadly Discs. <laughs> one nice thing about having two is if one stops working, you still have one. Just as you can see, there we go. Sometimes if you just hold it funny, it'll contact. See, there we go. Tron Deadly Discs. This is cool. Got him. Oh, that's neat. Okay, cool. Good game. Here's Atlantis. This is a very colorful game here. Lots of stuff going on already. Okay, that was like demo. Okay, so I have crosshairs. Okay, so it's a gunner. So you basically have to You have to time it so that it hits at the right time. Basically sending flack up. It takes longer further away. Better off going short right here. I think that's what I'm trying to protect. Okay, now I'm just having fun. So that's a good game. Burger time. Burger time. 82. One player. So this is like a ladder climbing game. Made of feed them burgers or something. No, I guess you can go past them once you uh, spray them with the stuff. Not sure what the point of the game is. Maybe to make a burger. Oh, these are these are like uh, condiments or something. I don't know. So that's burger time. Okay, so here we have Pitfall. This was a big deal and still is. <laughs> it's good that that one works. This is an awesome. Um, series of games franchise this was the start of it i remember playing this actually it was pretty tough you have to jump okay got it oh oh oh, oh. it's not good they say allow you to go back up It's pretty tough, actually. I remember being second best at this game.
Oh, so this is a sweet game. Oh. So you gotta get across the alligators. Oh no. No. Why me? Okay, that's it. And it was out of focus. But we've seen Pitfall, so it works. Good. I got a whole pile of working games here. Demon Attack. There's Demon Attack. That looks cool. Yeah, this is like a fast version of the other one. It's a little more dynamic. Oh. So it seems like maybe it was shooting and I just had to move. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Man, that's horrible. So he shoots three times. Shoot once, you get three shots. That makes it kind of challenging. Ice trick. This is cool. Looks like it's just kind of skiing. Not sure what the point is. Looks like he's got like a hammer or something. Oh, I killed one. So I guess you're supposed to kill these things. It's like a stampede. And now somebody just got me. So that one works. Okay, so we have a few more games here. Here's Tron. Mazatron. They're a little bit finicky. Honestly. So, there's that one. These are the finicky ones. I had to really blow on them hard and, and mess with them, but it looks like they're working. There's that one. This is Dungeons and Dragons. Here's shark, shark. I originally thought these didn't work, but I kind of blew on them. There we go. Oh. So they're a little finicky. There. So they, you do kind of got to mess with it. Just because it's so old. But you can see that it works. Here's Sub Hunt. <laughs> Same deal. <laughs> so it's working. Bowling. These are all the challenging cartridges. Here we go, bowling. Probably a little bit of interference from the fan here. I have a fan hooked up. It was worse, I had another fan going, but I turned that one off. Here's bowling. There he goes. 
Gutter ball. So I gotta cut this video short, it's getting so long. <laughs> one more. That one works too, that's Night Stalker. So I have all these books. There's about 30 books. There's a little over 30 of these. Some of them are duplicates. So all in all, we have like one dead game. This Tower of Doom, you might be able to get it to work. But we have three duplicates of games. There's two Lock and Chase. There's two Space Armada. And there's two of these Blackjack ones. But if you count them up, there's four, five, six, seven, eight. Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. There's one on the floor that fell. So I thought I heard two fall. I think that's 33 games. Anyway, it'll show in the listing exactly how many games, but I think it's going to be roughly 33 games, and some of them are duplicates. And then I'm going to include this TV. This is a Brock Sonic 13-inch regular old TV that takes the signal that this is designed for. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it will stay on YouTube for quite a while and you can all see this as this in television gets older and older. Hopefully my video will be good enough to be watched by everyone to just reminisce and check these games out and just remember them for what they were, when they worked well, even 40 years after they were uh, originally produced. If you'd like to, go ahead and go to my eBay store, GB Hatchery. Check out this listing. I'll leave a link to it. Also, I'll leave a general link to the store, and uh, I carry all kinds of items. There's usually quite a number up uh, available, and I have clothes, shoes, sporting goods, video games, things for the house, all kinds of stuff. All in good use condition. Some of it could be new with tags. So, um, and... It's a great place to get, say, snowboard boots or something like that and not spend too much on them. That's it for today. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.